Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you whenever and wherever it is that you are watching this video. I'm Tom Rance from CoolSmartphone.com and you're watching the Android Out of You show. Hi and welcome back to the App Review Show. Um, this week we'll be having a look at Bully Block in full. I've got the app here. Last week we had the first look. Thanks for watching that if you did. Um, let's just dive straight in because I've already shown you pretty much what it's about. Um, at the top, the block list, um, you have private numbers blocked straight off the bat here and um, there's no way of taking that off. So that's something to bear in mind. That I mean, this is a, this is a handy application to use, not just if you're being bullied, but it, you can use it to um, blacklists and things. Um, there's an autorespond feature, uh, so you can you can manage phone calls quite easily. But you can't remove private numbers. So if if someone is trying to get hold of you that and they just withhold their number or they're not listed or whatever, it will block them. So sorry about that. Um, next down, we've got the bully block SMS. Uh, I won't go into that one because. Well, I, won't sh I can't show you the list because it shows all numbers and messages that you have on your phone. So it, it reads your message list and then shows the numbers and everything there. So obviously my friends would not be particularly happy if I'm showing their numbers to the world. Fortunately, I get a text message from the University of Kent that doesn't have a number. So I can show you that. Um, you can see here, there ha there's the University of Kent. It would say, where it says um, unknown in brackets, that's where it would show you the number. Um, it shows you the message there, that last message, and um, you can block or auto-respond with the phone calls. They don't phone me anyway. And then here you've got the text messaging and the SM MMS messaging. You can block and or auto-respond to those. You have tell somebody down there, so you can let somebody know that this particular number is harassing you, and you've got forward as well. You can log the um, anything that happens here to the bully file. So if you're blocking someone, instead of um, instead of you receiving the message, it won't show up in your phone, and but it will show up in the look in the log file. So that's handy. You can then forward those log files on to somebody else. I'm going to show you how it works now. Um, I'm going to block the landline number, and then uh, I'm going to call my phone from the landline. Give me a second while I just block them. Here you go, look. Um, let's move the phone out there. Phone calls are blocked. This is the landline number. So I'm going to go back out to the home screen. You can see there. Um, ring my phone and put you on speakerphone. Hopefully, this will work. There we go, number dialed. It's gone. You see what it did there was um, ring and then hang it up, and then obviously you heard my voicemail message. Um, so you are aware that they've contacted you, but um, it's hung it's hung up and has left. See, it's just left a missed call in the notifications. So now, if we go back into the application. We should be able to go to the log file, the bully file, and have the details of the call. But it hasn't shown up. Now this is something that I've discovered by using it this week. Um, I've had a, I've blocked a lot of people and had a lot of my friends bully me. Um, but a lot of the time it doesn't seem to show up in the log file. That's something that they need to work on. There's only one thing here that has shown up, and um, there was a text message that I got. Um, you can then, from the details thing, I can't show you it right now because of the number. Um, from the de from the log details, you can email the log um, via Google Mail, or what I've got here is um, quick file share, so I can obviously upload that file somewhere and then send it to people. So that's for an app from previous week. That's nice. That's um, there. And the other feature that this does is bully capture. Now. I've had some real problems with Bully Catcher. Um, when you click it, obviously it's for um, covertly recording the bullies. So I, when you click the button, it kills the application. Whoops. It kills the application. This is difficult to work when you're not looking at the screen. Press it. You have the Bully Catcher menu. 
click record audio it's killed the application and I've gone and accidentally opened something else so it killed the application and then what you would expect it to be doing is now recording you and there's no uh, there's no notifications to let you know that it's running so I have no idea if it's recording and I don't know how to stop it but then what I discovered is when I went back to open that file that is on the phone um, it's there's corrupt it doesn't work it doesn't it didn't do anything so um, I don't know whether that's something to do with my phone I don't know whether that's the apps just not working um, not enough testing I don't know but once bully, bully block developers I would like to reach out to you and I would be more than willing to test new builds because this is a good idea um, well that is everything that bully block does you've seen me call myself and it block the call coming through um, the text messages do get blocked I had um, I know you had blocked uh, I did this I did this the other day with my girlfriend and I blocked her and she texted me a load and nothing came through um, which is good and then I forgot to unblock her and then even more texts that she sent me didn't come through um, yeah that's I mean I would rec I would recommend the application as a um, as a idea in theory it's a very good idea but this implementation hasn't quite isn't quite perfect the um it needs to be polished a little bit worked on a little bit more the bully capture thing simply doesn't work for me um bully block i uh, get in contact um it's 79 pence from the market i think uh requires android 1.6 and up probably i think or 1.5 and up I, I do recommend it, but Bully Block have got some things to work on. They've got some some things to work with. So, yes. Well, thanks for watching. I've been Tom Ransom from CoolSmartphone.com. You can catch me on Twitter, Tonkinsonar. All these links are downstairs in the little box that's underneath this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Um, I look forward to talking to you again next week about a new app. I'll see you around.